There is a new functionality in release 12.2 flex field value set security. Let us see first of all what this new feature is. So I am logging in as a new user. When you install release 12.2 by default none of the users have access to the value set values form. That means they will not be able to edit or access the values in any value set. So let us first see what exactly happens when a new user tries to access the values for any value set. So here the navigator is launching. Let us navigate to validation values and the user wants to see a list of value sets and you will see Oracle will give an error list of values contains no entries because this new user does not have access to any of the value sets for editing the values. Now let us see how to handle this situation. This is actually a new feature and what Oracle has provided here is you can either use a compatibility rule whereby you can grant access to all the value sets this functionality is similar to the earlier releases or you can grant access only to selective value sets and the intention of this functionality is to do it exactly like this to give access to the relevant value sets to the users who are supposed to edit the values for those value sets so let us see the first example how to grant access to all value sets for a user. We have logged in as Hemant user. So we have to first of all log out and log in as sysadmin user. So I log in as sysadmin. There is a little bit of bug here, so I have to navigate to this preference page before navigating to the navigator. From here, go to user management responsibility and double click on users. Query the user, whom you want to grant access to all the value sets. Click on update. Click on assign roles. And query a role starting with flex. You will see this is a seeded role by Oracle. Flex field value set security. All privileges. Select this role and click on select. Move down and provide a justification, provide the active date and click on apply. We have given the role to Heman to access any value set and add or edit values within that particular value set. So let us see what is the effect of this. Let us log in as user Hemant. And let us launch the navigator. Let us once again go to the value set values form and try to access. Now you can see Heman can access all the value sets. For example, operations, product. That's where he wants to add certain products. Now he can go here and he can make some additions.
so we have successfully attached the first row now let us see what is the second example is now i am exiting this video is continued in part 2 thank you bye bye